Why do some airlines ban the autopilot below certain altitudes, even when the aircraft can handle it perfectly? Because it is not about trust in the technology. It is about trust in the pilot's awareness. Below a few thousand feet, terrain, obstacles and climb gradients change everything. Some airlines want pilots fully engaged during those phases, eyes outside, hands on the controls, not relying on automation to manage attitude and speed. Manual flying boosts situational awareness. Pitch, power, trim and attitude become instinctive. Some standard operating procedures treat this early phase as essential training every flight. Others allow autopilot earlier for consistency and workload reduction. But strict airlines want pilots deeply in the loop until the climb stabilizes. It comes down to safety philosophy. Some airlines prioritize raw flying skill under pressure. Others prioritize automation accuracy. Neither approach is wrong. They are just built around different risk models, training cultures, and terrain environments. So tell me, is forbidding autopilot below certain altitudes a smart training habit or an unnecessary restriction in an age of advanced automation? Should pilots hand fly more for skill or trust the systems designed to reduce workload? Where do you stand?